Hey everybody, welcome to Duck and Download. So tonight I wanted to cover a nice little quick topic, Qui-Gon Jinn in Kenobi. Honestly, I really do hope that Qui-Gon Jinn is in the Kenobi series, not only just as a force spirit voice, but as a full force ghost. Now I know the only time we ever see Qui-Gon actually become full force ghost is on Mortis as a nexus for the entire force, I can kind of understand where he would have more power there. He didn't fully train with the wills enough to get all of this power before he passed away. That is why he had to teach Yoda in spirit voice form only, which we also see in the Clone Wars. But in this Kenobi series, he's had enough time to really meditate and hopefully fully appear as himself, Force Ghost style. It'd be so cool to see Liam Neeson back in the Star Wars universe. Now, a lot of people are speculating that we're gonna mostly see this ghost in a fight where one or the other, I don't know if there's supposed to be two, but definitely one of the fights between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon is more than likely gonna have to show up in there to either instruct Obi-Wan on how to get out of this fight without being destroyed or to simply just run away. He's not gonna beat Vader. This is a broken, hermited Obi-Wan Kenobi versus a fully rage-filled and very powerful Darth Vader. I really hope that Qui-Gon's gonna have the ability to kind of show Obi-Wan a new way to beat him or a way to use his cybernetics against him, and that Qui-Gon is gonna have to have a conversation with him about how oh, he didn't really fail, but he could have done maybe better to give him hope for his training of Luke. Because of Anakin's fall, all those deaths lie on Obi-Wan's shoulders. Is that a weight he's supposed to bear? No, but he does. Maybe Qui-Gon will help him alleviate this burden and come to see his full self. And that's how we get the Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan to transform into the more hope-filled and optimistic Alan Guinness Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm very interested to see what will happen in the Obi-Wan series. Uh, maybe Qui-Gon not only shows himself to Obi-Wan, but how cool would it be if Qui-Gon force ghosts himself to Anakin, telling him the disappointment or the fear that he was correct, that how could he let this happen? He should have stopped it. He should have never gone to Tatooine. It could send him into a rage or it could help. I think having Liam Neeson act next to Hayden Christensen again would be, well, not even again, but for the first time, would be a really awesome thing for us all to get to see an adult Hayden Christensen with a Liam Neeson, you know, Qui-Gon Jinn with adult Anakin Skywalker, getting to see a master and pupil aspect we never actually got in any of the prequel films. Seeing this could really give us an idea of what could have happened had Anakin been trained by Qui-Gon. So I know I'm really excited for the Kenobi series, and I'm really excited to see what they do with Qui-Gon. Let me know what your guys' opinion on this are, and if you want to see Qui-Gon in the Kenobi series, as always, then, make sure to also like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much. Have a great night.